Hello my dear family members, within very few hours or few days you have mind assessment but you were unable to find proper resources for preparation. That's why I thought to upload a coding question which was asked on the last drive of mind and which can be appeared in this exam as well. So let's see the question. So the question is regarding reverse the characters in the individual words of a given string. So here are the sample cases as you can see I have not the full questions but this is the gist you have to reverse the individual characters of individual words okay. So the sample cases are here coding is awesome so you have to reverse all the characters of all the individual words right. So G N I D O C will be in, appeared in the first then is will be reversed like S I then awesome will be reversed like this way E M O S E W A. So the output description is also visible to you. I hope you are reading this and you will apply this in your practice. Okay. And as you can see the in the second sample input, hello world is reversed this, this way. So hello is reversed at first. Uh, like all the characters are reversed. So then world is reversed as well in this way. So world uh, is starting from the last. This will be the actual output. Okay. So I hope you understood the task right so if you understood then please start solving the problem by yourself otherwise this will not be helpful for you okay and if can't then please don't skip any moment of this video okay. So what should be our approach to the solution so at first what we'll do in Java the strings are immutable so we have to reverse the strings so string builder is such a class which enables us to reverse the string to make the string immutable okay so we'll use the string builder to reverse those okay so our approach will be like at first we'll get the string then we'll split uh, on the basis of spaces then the string will be stored in the array because split re returns array okay then we have to create a string builder in which we'll store will append the strings okay then we'll go through all the element of that array and we'll store the current element the current string inside a string variable then we'll go through all the strings uh, character and we'll store all the characters in a character variable then we'll reverse those in a, a, a free initialized variable okay so this way we'll keep uh, storing all the characters in the reverse way then we'll store all the reversed string inside another string builder uh, object so that we can get the full uh, reversed word okay so let's go to the solution so that it will be more easier to understand okay so before i proceed to the solutions i would again recommend you to have the prime materials of any company that you want like accenture deloitte capgemini cognizant infosys or any company that you want okay this is paid but this is very much affordable to you so if you want then please damn me at my id instagram.com slash techno.ef you will get it okay so let's start with the java solutions so as you can see i have written the solutions so what we would do at first will store the string which will be reversed okay so coding is a string this will be reversed okay so coding is awesome let me just create that awesome so we'll uh, reverse this okay all the individual character all the strings will also be reversed okay so at first why what we do on the basis of spaces will split okay so whenever spaces appeared this will be splitted okay and it will be converted to a, an array okay and this will be stored inside this string array okay so coding comma is comma awesome are three strings will be stored inside the string array at first okay then what we are doing string builder full is equal to new string builder so we are creating the object of string builder so that we can append we can append something we can append some string inside uh a, a, a string builder okay so so that it will be easier for us okay so why we are using this string builder you will get to know soon just wait a little watch till the end you will get understand okay so then we are creating a for each loop by which we are going through all the element of that array like coding is awesome we are going through all the element okay and then we are creating another string builder to reverse all the strings character okay just wait a little you will understand okay so at the first iteration what will be the current element that's that is coding okay so this is the current variable at the first okay so in this variable 
coding is stored in the first iteration okay so in inside the this for loop we are going through the last character to first character okay so that means current dot length minus one this way we are getting the getting this element okay so g then we are create we are going up to less than equal to zero so we are going up to this element and if this is decremental that's why we are giving j minus minus okay then we are storing the current element that is he this because we are going from this side to this side okay so that's why the first element will be appeared that is g so using this caret method which is getting uh, which is required an argument that is an an integer so j is the index which is the integer value and we are getting the current element that is the g is being stored inside this c character variable so at first g is stored here then in this reverse string builder we are appending c i mean this character that means g so in the reverse in the reverse uh, string builder we are storing g at first okay so why we are using reverse uh, string builder because is it has a method called append by which we can concatenate all the character all the strings okay so i hope you understood why we are using string builder okay so now g is stored inside this string builder in the next iteration the uh, this will be decremented by one that's why the new value of j will be length minus two so this will be stored in this okay in this c so n will be stored here then reverse dot append n so this way it will keep storing okay so this way it will keep storing and at the end g n i d o c will be stored okay and after this iteration all the iteration like from g to c after all the iteration the reverse will be like uh, wow a i d o c so reverse will be like this okay and the after this follow we are appending this value g n i d o c we are appending this value here okay g n i d o c we are appending those like full dot append reverse that means this value is being appended here okay reverse then dot append a space okay so that we can get a space after this okay so i hope you understood then in the next iteration the current value will be each okay current value will be each so this way it will again uh, st keep storing the is here okay so si will be here in the next iteration the awesome will be reversed and the reverse form will be stored here so this way it will keep storing the reversed character of the strings okay so after all after all the iteration of the for loop we are printing the value like a uh, full dot to string dot trim so full is a string builder so we are converting that to uh, to a string so that we can trim all the spaces after or before the string okay so why because after reversing all like g n i d o c s i and awesome right so e m o s e w a after reversing it will have a space here because we are appending this way so that's why a uh, space will be here so that's why this trim method will trim that space okay so this is all we had to do so now we are good to go okay so let's run it i hope this will be fine okay so as you can see the string is reversed full okay so awesome is this okay coding is awesome is reversed okay you can change anything like uh, let's say uh ubk anna okay so if i just reverse this then it will be kbu anna <laughs> this is a palindrome so anna is anna so i hope you understood right so if you understood then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and give me thanks so that i can be motivated and please share this content with your friends so that they can also take help from this okay and uh, if you 
want the python solutions then let's see so let's see the solutions in python actually i have written the solutions so as you can see at first let's start with the main method so s is equal to the string okay you can take the input from the user i'm just uh, hard coding this okay and we are calling the method like reverse words in string and it is taking an argument which is a string as well okay and it is returning a string so that's why we are printing that okay directly so let's go to the implementation of the method so what we are doing here at first we are splitting on the basis of spaces of the string but we are not taking any argument here because in java the split method require a string or like any spaces inside split method that means that is the argument okay but in java in python the string method split does not require any string argument okay it can be okay with string argument it, it is can it is also okay with with argument okay so this is splitting and returning a list of string then we are also initializing this uh, list which will be helpful few minutes later just wait so for word in word so as we did in python java we are going through all the words of that words list so what is the current uh, current string current word inside this words list then in python there is a slice method by which we are reversing all the strings this way right so word is to is to minus one so this way we are reversing all the strings okay then after reversing let's say the first word was what first word was coding okay so this is reversed here this way so g n i d o c so this way this will be reversed in this single line okay then here we had initialized this empty list here we are appending this reverse word okay so we appended this reverse word g n i d o c inside this reverse words okay then result is equal to after all the iteration after all the iteration like going through coding is a string all the strings we are using dot join method to join all the strings okay so i hope you understood then after that returning the result so g n i d o c space s i space a space g n i r t s will be returned here so let's run it and see if this is giving right output or not okay so let me run it and see this is fine okay so let me just change it and see if this is giving right output or not okay so materials mine tree so let's see as you can see mine tree materials this is reversed so i hope you understood okay so if you understood then please share this content with your friends so that they can also take help and i also be motivated okay and if you want the prime materials of any company like mine tree action chart capgemini cognizant infosys tech Bahindra, deloitte joho etc etc then please let me know in the comment section or you can tell me at paste id instagram.com slash techno.ef this is paid but very affordable okay so thank you for the decision